Hey, welcome to another exciting, stupid, ridiculous, and all that good stuff episode of the Smacked Bacon Show. I'm Dave. I'm Dean. And uh, today's show, we are going to go and have a look at top 20 worst product names ever. You ready, Dean? Shout out to WatchMojo.com. Yep, shout out to WatchMojo. And like like always, the link to this extra video will be in the description below. Why not try AIDS? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today okay. we're counting down our picks for the top Did she say why don't you try AIDS? That's what it sounds like. It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. Fuck you! You want to do it? Just wait till you see what I've got. It's the Wonder Boner. Come on, <laughs> products really do work. <laughs> the best list. We're looking what? at various products that have silly, fartful, uncomfortable, fartful. or downright offensive names. What the heck? These names are so bad, we're even embarrassed to them <laughs> Cream ass. include modern products, as well as older products with names that have aged poorly. Mother, However, mother, yeah, I'm not saying that last word. Oh, it's, it's Fookers. Did we overlook an Fookers. obviously bad name? Let us know in the comments below. Wow. Number 20, Nads. Real girls. Real women. Okay. Ew, Ew. that's nasty. Nasty. Folks, that means he's British. Nads voted best brand in hair removal by real people. This is one of. And the you can use it on your nads. So it would seem that unfortunate naming hasn't held it back. Created and founded in 1992 by an Australian woman whose daughter wanted to wax her arms with less pain. It's okay. gone on to become one of the world's leading hair removal products. Real moms. I guess mom's always in here waxing her legs while the kids brush the teeth. Uh, and everyone's always got a big old smile on their face. Real their Aussies. <laughs> However, NADS is a slang hey, term often used for something else. Oh yeah, we know what NADS Popularly is. used in sentences such as, Oh man, that guy just got hit right in the NADS. Oh! Yep, like that. Super bad. The that was a good movie. The success of NADS as a business just goes to show that a great product can indeed nah. overcome a That guy doesn't name. need NADS, wow. man. No. no. He <laughs> needs way more than that. He needs a weed whacker. Yeah. Oh! Bro. That's amazing. It's amazing you Look didn't scream. That. Number 19. Yeah. Trek store, I beat blacks. Eh. It's hard to believe this I name beat was blacks. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Thousand, German company Trek store came up with an that's idea for good. what to call their new oh, MP3 player. That's just wrong and in so many ways, bro. The bad yeah. name they went with sounded like it was making yep, light of I prejudice blacks. and violence. Yep, yep. Shortly yep. after Trek store Absolutely. was called out for its horrendously bad decision, the company issued an apology and promptly renamed their product. Uh, yeah, so you think? According to the company's vice president, it was named Blacks because of its, quote, elegant black piano finish. But okay. it's still mind-boggling that they missed the obvious problem there, even yes. if English wasn't their first language. Probably Number not. 18, Reebok Incubus. Oh, I remember what those. What do women want to wear on their feet? In the mid-90s, uh, Reebok's yeah, marketing team answered this question with, demonic spirits who take advantage of women in their sleep. Yep. In 1996, the company launched athletic footwear remember, for women this. called Reebok Incubus. I don't remember the, the product. The counterpart of a succubus. I do. An incubus is a mythological demon said to prey on women at night while they're unconscious. Clearly, no one bothered to research what the name actually meant. Yeah. At least, we hope that's the explanation. Well, is also when the an name ABC of a good news band, report band. broke the story, <laughs> yeah. Reebok had to apologize and change the name. <laughs> Number 17. Dry sack sherry. <laughs> an adjective. When you use it to describe skin, you think of unpleasant things like bitter winter months. But when you combine the word you definitely dry don't want with your wine, sack dry. you think of an enjoyable adult beverage. So we can see why Williams and Humbert wanted to use it to describe its sherry. But then they added the word sack. Yes, in this product's wide. defense, sack is actually a term that was historically used in the winemaking profession to describe certain fortified wines. Uh, but modern audiences are likely going to be too distracted by the words dry and sack together to recognize the historical meaning behind the name. Going upstairs. Because I'm going to put my nut sack on your drum sack. Number 16. You go, <laughs> boy. Hair <laughs> Teabag. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you spell it with a K or a C. Come it comes out sounding the same when you say it out loud. Uh, or put it on a shampoo care? bottle. Okay. Is that hair gel? 
Yeah. Great. No, 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 don't, don't, you don't have to. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. Do that, yes. I just ran out. The intended use of this product, naturally invites a whole slew of dirty jokes that are too cheap and easy to bother making. Yes, yes. The product line uses kumquat oh, extract as a key ingredient, which was apparently it's such a distinguishing feature of this hair care line that the need to put K-U-M in the name trumped all like business and marketing sense. With extract from the kumquat fruit, my hair is sexier and more vibrant than ever before. Come hair care products really do <laughs> work. You'll definitely turn heads when you have cum in your hair. Yeah, oh yeah. 15, <laughs> Ikea's fartful workbench. <laughs> no one makes furniture quite like Ikea. How do they come oh, as much of it. How do they the come home furnishing thing? juggernaut has risen to prominence. While Dude, this is probably like borderline R-rated freaking include the word fartful for a workbench. Video see, for us Ikea here. Ikea mostly relies on common and words from yeah, Sweden and neighboring countries oh, yeah. to make product names. Fartful. Rugs tend to be named after Scandinavian towns. Other yeah. products borrow plant and animal names. But while fartful might mean speedy to those who speak Swedish, it has a far <laughs> more unsavory yeah. implication for non-Swedish speaking shoppers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, based on the name alone, we're keeping this workbench outside. Number 14. 666 cold preparation. What? Okay. This is just one of those strange ones. Are the manufacturers of this seemingly run of the mill cold medicine intentionally invoking 666, the number of the beast? 666, number of the devil. If so, there are multiple ways to interpret this. They could be looking to corner the goth, Satanist, or even heavy metal healthcare market. Alternatively, this could be an attempt at marketing this product as the right choice for a hellishly bad cold. <laughs> Ew. God bless you! Either way, it's hard to imagine the name helped with sales, wow. especially with more religiously conscious groups. Not on my watch! Apparently, it tasted awful, too. Number 13, Wonder Boner. <laughs> okay, how? Who wants to clean and debone them? I'll do it. <laughs> Fuck you! You want to do it? Just wait till you see what I've got. It's the Wonder Boner. Looking to put together a gift hey, basket look at my of wonder boner. named products Never for a loved one with a penchant for puns? You've already got so the pocket is, uh... fisherman. So why not add a wonder boner? In all fairness, if you've ever de-boned a fish, it, yeah. you know that it is no simple task. It is not especially simple if you're nah. inexperienced or don't have the right tools. It is the wonder boner seemingly facilitates removing bone bones like from a fish. And based on the commercial, any immature wordplay was uh, intentional. You just assemble the wonder boner stainless steel rods like this. You take the fish, you find the top of the spine, and you slide him through the ring on the wonder boner and Voila! The Wonder Boner. My wife would like that. I just Marketing noticed it, 101 you know, that you should know your target <laughs> market. That style of if bullet. the product gets the job done and I don't your target know, man. I would, I would still debone a, a fish the same way. For throwing in a the, the, you know, yeah. the, well, the old-fashioned way. I think way. the Wonder Boner's a yep. winner. So, uh, Dave, where did you get the Wonder Boner? It's funny you should ask. <laughs> Order your I was now. hanging out Number 12. with your <laughs> wife. <laughs> what? Style Kugelfabrik Detector 3. Fag Are fag you detector? in need of the perfect tool to monitor and balance machine vibrations? You need to get no? Okay, well, this isn't exactly a must have consumer good for the average household. However, there is a shortened version of the name that would definitely turn the heads yep. of the masses. Yep. We agree it's that Fisher's Automatische oh my gosh, yeah. Fabric is a mouthful that warrants abbreviation. So but what? sometimes the acronym is not the way to go. It's not good the when you word put that results when you combine the, the first letters of this product name has long been on the list of offensive pejorative words you just don't say. While the yeah. device probably works fine, we're confident it's that a word. name could use an alteration. Whatever. It's a word. Number 11. You know, in Germany, it means cigarette. This particular brand of creatine yep. is Cream a bodybuilding supplement that's you, that's promises super, to help you, you gain mass. Now, we're all for telling the people what they're getting. It's just good marketing <laughs> practice. Yes. Maybe you know what else is good practice? Yo, 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 Reading a product's yo, name out loud before you plaster it all over the place. Bodybuilders will go to hey, all look, sorts monk. of extremes to reach their goals and get those gains. But with Cream well, it sounds like you're getting a lot more than you bargained for. 
Creamy, salty, sweet, and oaky nuttiness. Creamy like, ass. Laxative as well. <laughs> yeah. If you notice someone using this product at the on. gym, maybe off. keep your distance when they're doing squats. Pop up your cream. What? Yes. Stink. <laughs> Number 10. The Jew's Ear Juice. What? Mmm. Who wants a long, warm draft of ear juice? Okay. Right Is it like from beer the or soda oh, or what? The name of this Chinese beverage actually comes from one of its ingredients, a kind of fungus commonly called Jew's Ear. In 2010, Israel's Consul General in Shanghai, Jackie Aldan, praised the name, saying that it reflected the Chinese perception of Jews as hardworking and successful. But according to a company spokesperson, it really was just all about the fungus. After the confusion, they decided to change the name to Black Fungus Jews. Ouch. That don't sound any better. Yeah, yeah, that's real appetizing, to be huh? Honest, it doesn't actually sound that much fungus. more appealing. Number nine. Whack off. <laughs> this heavy duty insect repellent makes a number of big claims. It okay, promises yeah, tropical strength protection and is used by the maximum armed forces. It also advertises itself as being maximum. <laughs> what are you doing? Strength, whack off. Which Fuck wilderness enthusiasts can clarify is not I'm a real measurement of diethyl toluamide, right but more akin to saying a lot. But with a real concentration of 346 grams per kilogram of DT, wow. this is honestly some seriously potent insect yes, repellent. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is, man. would ever allow that much DT. <laughs> the only issue? The fact that Whack Off is written three times bigger than anything else on this tube full of gel. Honey, if I'm gonna get whacked off, I at least deserve to understand why it's happening. What are you smiling about? <laughs> Very sweet. We're not going, hun, we're not going to get whacked off. I think we are. We shudder to think of the poor soul who read that label too quickly late one night. Yes. Number eight, Mother Fuker's Salted Peanuts. Okay, then. I seriously doubt that the people behind this salty snack were completely hey, unaware of how people would read this name. product name. We can say Fuker. Salty Nuts! Fuker would have could have been their family's but last name. But in their defense, the questionable word is pronounced you know I mean? Fuker's. There's not a ton Fuker's. of information look, available about these peanuts. Her, but see, but people are not going to see the little dots above the U. Online vintage marketplace. No. What we They're do not. know is that the name was see, apparently right problematic enough yep. that the Norwich Packing Company felt the need to include the pronunciation in the <coughs> trademark. In legal paperwork, the company emphasizes that it's pronounced Fuckers. F-O-C-K-E-R. Fucker. Hmm. Fucker. Uh -huh. But despite the company's tremendous efforts around its product's name, we probably won't be bringing these home for mom. That, that moment looks terrible. Number seven, yeah. Nintendo DS Touch Dick. <laughs> Many of the poorly named products on our list today come Touch from small to mid-sized companies. So we are Come on, you can't tell me these people don't know what they're Nintendo. doing when they come up with these That's names. Shocking. Seriously. Honestly, Somebody comes up with a name and they're like, hey, let's see how long we can get Those away with this. not two words that you I want to be Googling on your so work computer. Yeah, Nintendo DS. Nintendo DS Touch Dick is not, in fact, an adult game or even a dating sim. Yeah, okay. It's actually just about the tamest thing the company has ever put out because it's a dictionary. The game came out exclusively in South oh, Korea, but pressure oh, from dick for dictionary. a laughs from Western audiences ensured that the title was changed to, to the touch completely so safe touch up player, don't dictionary. <laughs> and your six, wonder boner. Golden Circle SARS. <laughs> what? In the medical world, what was it? SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory yeah, Syndrome. Yeah, no. However, it's also the name Golden. of a beverage manufactured Sorry. by the Golden Circle Company. We know that the kids love a cool no. abbreviation, but in this case, more is more. Label a can as sarsaparilla, and consumers will think you're old-fashioned. Ah, can't get a good sarsaparilla like this back in Springfield. Stamp the letters SARS across it, in all caps, and they'll seriously second-guess your ingredients. Yeah. Oddly enough, there were some claims that Golden Circle's poorly named beverage experienced increased sales during the SARS coronavirus outbreak in 2003. A similar uh, sales spike in corona was reported shortly after COVID-19, another coronavirus, was declared a pandemic in early 2020. Number five, Finger Marie. Also known <laughs> as McVitie's cookies. First of all, we don't take too kindly to foods that tell us what to do. Second, <laughs> it tells so you what to do. <laughs> While McVitie's is a British snack food company, this particular name comes I mean, from the name of one though. of their products in Sweden. While Marie is the name for a type of biscuit, it's probably not the first thought people have in mind when they see this product's packaging. Finger cookies are great in all shapes, sizes, and flavors. But when you're naming them, keep first names out of it. Yes. Marie, you want to go home? 
Number four, alien versus predator, child predator hands. What? Wow, where do we even start with this one? Like a spin off or something? Boy. Considering it's merchandising oh, for an established now. film Child franchise Predator that hand. takes itself Latex seriously, we're pretty sure the name wasn't meant as a joke. It's just oh, a really a bad child predator like a pedophile. Never have been brought together, yeah, let alone slapped on it. a product intended for children. If you rush this, people will get hurt. Maybe die. I don't understand your objection. On second thought, though, who is the intended demographic here? We're pretty sure there has yet to be a film in the Predator franchise that would rightly qualify as child-friendly. This product raises many questions, but that was there a good is movie. one thing we're absolutely yeah, certain it about. Its name should have never gotten the green light. Most no, listings have. have, unsurprisingly, since they been updated. I could have just put Predator Number three. And that's it. Nope. You know what? I'm not going to say that. Okay. There are a number or say, of unique baby Predator. <laughs> You say predator hands, springs, child size. baths, and even beer go. baths. The latter actually has a long history in Eastern Europe and has some health benefits. However, this kind of dip sounds... No. <laughs> Semen dip. This All right. dip in the food right with garlic. <laughs> wow, that's actually Oh, worse. dude, that's Spelled just not right, bro. C, Semen, pronounced chemen, is in reality oh, a type dip. of okay. dip or spread that hails from Turkey. It can be made from tomato paste, garlic, and walnuts. Nope, that looks like some going. really nasty, Honestly, chunky, like salsa. It, it does. It good, looks really but bad. But it would certainly yeah. benefit from a rebrand in English markets. Right. Number two, AIDS. <laughs> this appetite suppressant wasn't <laughs> just a real product. Oh, it was a gosh. hit. If you look as broad as this, and you'd rather look as slim as this, mm. try the AIDS reducing plan. Originally oh, I gotta have me some of that company, AIDS, man. How about you? Yep. All the way back to the 1930s. <laughs> It wasn't until the 1970s and early 80s, however, that it really hit its stride and became an industry leader. Why not try AIDS? Okay. But that all changed when awareness about <laughs> acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS, <laughs> increased drastically uh, yeah. in the 80s. It also did help that the primary function of the product, losing weight, was also one of the symptoms of the condition. Oh. The company oh. tried to pivot by rebranding its product as AIDS Slim and Diet AIDS, but in the early 90s, the company like gave up and ceased production. Game. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oh yeah, Love Sack. Love Sack. They sell clean furniture, but the name hey, sounds Love Sack's pretty. actually pretty freaking comfortable. Yeah. Love Sack. There's a little old pea place. touch. No place. Anyone <laughs> one through? Oh, you'll not touch okay. my pee. <laughs> pea touch. A personal okay. touch. The P touch. D bag. The D bag. There you go, man. That's what one looks like right there. There's a D bag. Where are you going? I'm gonna buy myself a D bag. One more mojo. Context TV produces original, high quality videos on business, entrepreneurship, and politics, but from a different point of view. The battle is being fought between Netflix and YouTube. Documentaries with a fresh take on the state of business. Blah blah blah. Cat is a cute way to refer to a feline. Own a girl, 24 hour intensive pussy leaders. Whoa, 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 what was that? And documentaries with a fresh take on the we'll state of find business. Out. Check out Context TV. Number one, Rexona Girl, 24 hour intensive pussy wind Hello Kitty. <laughs> first one. That's a long day. Where to begin with this product? Pussy wind? Probably Isn't that called a general queef? advice to all aspiring yeah, product creators out there yeah, that while pussy queef. cat is a cute way to refer to a feline, you can't take the word cat away and expect people to still understand. Yeah. Let me crap, let's make this song. We can chalk up this lengthy name to a series of bad translations that serendipitously <laughs> came together in one truly uh, awful yeah, no. Let's do Pussycat! <laughs> 24 hour intensive wouldn't be so bad if it weren't followed by those next two words. We can yeah. only assume that wind was supposed to mean that it's an aerosol spray, but by the time you read Hello Kitty and understand that that's the feline they're referring to, it is much too late. Rexona, it won't let you down. Do you agree that, with our you know. picks? Check All out right. this other recent clip from one. Okay, another awkward thing going oh on. Oh my Here gosh. Go. Uh, you know, Dean and I, we might cuss and tell, you know, uh, you know, uh, off color jokes or, or, you know, sexual jokes and things like that, but we are Christians. We just happen to have raunchy sense of humor. 
And you notice that there are certain words that we stay away from, too. Yeah, we won't say the F word, man, because that's, you know, that's... that's, that's and a, we won't say, we stay far, far away from saying GD. Yes, or JC, you know. That's it. Uh, unless we're, you know, talking about and the Lawa. And, and, and we're in church or something, yeah. Yeah. But there you have it. Uh, what was that? The uh, top 25 um, bad, name, things. bad names for and, products. Yes. So let us know uh, in the comments which one you thought was the funniest, the stupidest, whatever. And be sure to uh, subscribe and like and go to our Facebook page and like us there again. Um, Smack Bacon Show. We'll All right. see you all in the next one. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.